I practice in the area of family law and I do everything I can to help people at the beginning of their relationship and at the end of the relationship. So anything from cohabitation agreements to marriage contracts to separation agreements, mobility applications, whatever it might be. When I summered at Ferris, I was involved in a very complicated case involving a uh, wife who struggled with alcoholism and a husband who was the owner of a adult video store. And the case involved many witnesses, very complicated legal issues, and brought to the forefront human emotion, which for me has attracted me to family law right from the get-go. I love helping people uh, deal with their problems and I really hone in on what's important to the individual as opposed to uh, looking at it from a broad stroke perspective, I would say. In family law cases, you're dealing with people at their most vulnerable. And for me, because I've been exposed to so many different cultures and places around the world, my ability to relate to just about anyone uh, has helped me so much in my legal career. And at Ferris, I would say my reputation is one that I can get along with any lawyer. I can uh, you know, duke it out in court with them, but then after a great win, go and have a cordial meal with them. So in my view, reputation is everything. And I've built my reputation at Ferris over the last 11 years, starting from when I was a summer articling student and going right through. And my clients know my reputation. They've heard of me, and I get great referrals across uh, the city and even across Canada. And I believe it's because of my adaptability and my reputation. I am a strong believer of access to justice. And I do this in a, a variety of ways. I help people out. For example, uh, when I'm in court waiting in chambers and I see a lay litigant having difficulty uh, with their case, if I know I have 20 minutes or half an hour before my case is called, I'll actually touch them on the shoulder and go and speak to them outside and offer them any sort of tips that I can to, to help them on their way. And it's those little things that are just so meaningful to people. And even though I don't give my name, they just know that I'm a lawyer, a family law lawyer sitting in chambers, there have been occasions where the, the person will go to the sheriff or go to the clerk and ask, who is that lawyer? And they'll send me a lovely card thanking me. Being at Ferris uh, for my entire career, I have three mentors that I would like to speak of. And the first is Karen Shirley Patterson. Karen uh, is the lawyer that I spent the most time with. I've juniored her in trials. I've gone with her to mediations, to discoveries. She has taught me the uh, need to be prepared. The second person is Jeff Kay, who is the head of our department and very tenacious, excellent lawyer. And he's taught me that less is more. And the third mentor I would like to speak of is Rob Anderson. Rob Anderson has really taught me how to be an advocate. And the need and the importance of two things, EQ, and IQ. Those two things together make you an excellent lawyer. So teamwork at Ferris means so much to me. And I say this because if I have a big case, it's not about me. It's about all the people who are working with me. I recently went to the Court of Appeal on a mobility case, and I was working directly with our office's services staff, David Naples, and others who were helping me get all of my books and binders ready the day before that we needed to get filed. I was working with our junior lawyers, and they were helping so much with our oral advocacy skills and practicing what we were going to be saying in court, which was so helpful. And then my legal assistant, Doreen. 
Doreen is my right hand. Without her, my practice would be uh, difficult to really operate. The way I practice family law uh, in Vancouver is very unique. I am one of the only lawyers in the city who offers clients every process option. And when I say process option, I mean on the right, you've got litigation, where I explain to, to people, litigation is like going to Vegas. You're rolling the dice. So much depends on uh, who's sitting that day, the way the evidence goes out. You really don't have control of the process. On the other hand, I offer my clients what's called collaborative practice, and that's where you sit down in four-way meetings and you sign a participation agreement where you're not going to go to court, and that's where people really have control of the process.